Yo, YouTube, welcome back at it again. <laughs> Did you know Fortnite Chapter 1 is back? Everything we know. Bro, I just saw this on Twitter and I was like, you know what? I need to react to this because, you know, OG Fortnite will give you fire. But I, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Fortnite is returning to Chapter 1 in a matter of weeks, bringing back classic weapons, few wise, and the build up has already begun. Bro, if this actually happens, I'm gonna hop on again. I have hopped on like three, deals. four months or it was something. Secretly like that. updated on Tuesday with a huge teaser: objects from OG Fortnite, whether Ooh. it's a drip nerd burger, tomato head, or the dusty diner sign. These are all core memories from Chapter 1, and that is not all. If this it actually drops, I'm actually telling playing. Telling us exactly where it came from: July 12, 2018. Ooh. The running theory is that Dr. Sloan, Agent Jones, and the heist crew have stolen the device and are analyzing it as we speak. If the date on the machine wasn't enough, Fortnite themselves secretly changed their Twitter location to July. And if you're wondering what's so important about that <laughs> date, well, it was location. the official launch oh, of Season time. 5. Yeah, it looks like they took some inspiration from Donald Mustard's old way of teasing things. That only get from a couple of mascots to the whole map becoming Chapter 1. Turns yeah, out this is just stage two of the buildup. Next week, Frenzy Fields will be updated again with the time machine disappearing for good. It looks like Sloan's gonna spend some time figuring out. So when does it drop, bro? All of this leading to That's a all I care about, bro. next season with an insane amount of content. Let's break it down. When does it drop? We're trying to bring the nostalgia in the best way possible. Even the guns are gonna have old models. Hopefully, it replicates the Ooh, magic of those early w days Scar. and Chapter Four's graphics that'll ruin it. So let's find out because we already have our first confirmed weapons that are returning after all of these years. Okay, okay. One is the pump shotgun. Yo. We have waited forever to see it in the game, and whenever like the Epic brings this back, they always kind of change it somehow. Yeah, Finally, it's it. returning to its former glory with the old model and everything. So Coming I kind of like one pump people. Tag. We've wanted this for even longer. These two weapons were crucial to the fun of Chapter One, and I cannot wait to use them again. So you might be asking, how will next season? There it is, Getting all this OG stuff back. And I don't want to hop on because I feel like it's gonna be fun. Fast paced. It sounds confusing, but it's actually the most exciting part. With the time yeah. machine breaking down, things will get faster, meaning we'll cycle through a new time period every single week oh all the way from shit one of battle royale to season five and this is all happening in this span the of fuck? one month if you still aren't hyped epic is seriously banking Ain't on no nostalgia way, soon in mega city they'll even go as far as putting this billboard on a skyscraper no it's not Ain't a no windows way. wallpaper this is the infamous blue sky from chapter one and it'll even play classic music it's not the only way they're advertising the season ninja okay. recently revealed on his podcast that he's worked with epic on, on an upcoming commercial but who's the first person you think of when you hear about chapter one streamers yeah ninja sounds like no. a feature in the trailer or an ad for the I next think season about myth. and it could work perfectly so if you're wondering it runs from november to december 3rd and in that time we're november gonna get a weekly quest december along 3rd. with a special battle bus oh, shit, fortnite fault. hasn't really uh, changed the bus too hmm. much other than holiday events like two so weeks curious to know what's so special about this you'll be glad to hear though that we already have our first confirmed skins of season five heartbreak ranger is an Man. insane remix of a classic skin of bringing flame and magma to the shop at a time I'm definitely if it actually happens i'm actually hopping on bro okay. I hope y'all hop on too because I feel like it's going to be lit. I don't know for how long it's going to be lit. Check out the I feel it's going to be lit. Outfit, Draco Dooler. It's just a code name for now. Draco. This is the crew pack for November Draco the Ruler. He's a remix of hybrid from Chapter 1 nah. and includes a ton of legacy styles. It's a new That's feature crazy. which is going to be on every crew skin from now on. Draco now, go crazy. Now, I'm going to with y'all, bro. They give us a clue to next season's theme and the battle pass. No one's paying attention to what the pass could include. Bro. But it's becoming more likely that it'll be remixed with new POIs, except this time the chapter 4 island is gonna clash with the old one, merging them both into a single battleground. Oh, it's not so just gonna be a handful of POIs. One. According to leakers, it'll be huge chunks of OG Fortnite. So what oh, locations okay. could we expect? Of course, your usual suspects are Tilted, Pleasant Park, Are we Tilt already Row. in Obviously, Chapter 3? Pleasant Park, bro. But after returning so constantly over right the there. years, That's most of us will have fresh POIs that we haven't landed at since 2018. Personally, I would love to see the return of Paradise Palms. It was a very important location in the bro. original Season 5, being the birthplace of Kevin the Cube, spotting the Diplodoculus <laughs> meme, and Westworld. Some other underrated drop spots back in the day were the prison, motel, and the soccer stadium. I mean, these are we're still waiting maybe now it is anyways if y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all drop the like on this video and uh if you actually gonna play comment down below because i'm gonna be playing you already know